Hi guys, and so following on from the last video, in this tutorial we're going to go through the display settings and learn how to customise the GUI looks and also how to make custom banners. Basically, we're going to make the GUI look a little bit different. Cracky. So, if we click onto settings and go to display settings, here we've got the various settings for the display. Obviously the first one is the date setting, which is pretty self-explanatory, as is time format. Um, the num number format, basically, if you have it on dot comma, um, how it displays, say like um, 12 terabytes, it'd be 12.0. If you were to put that, if you were to put that onto, say, comma dot, it would just be the same but with a comma so that's pretty self-explanatory um, number scaling basically you can choose what your array is displayed in you could have it displayed in kilobytes if you want to why you'd want to I really don't know or you can have it like terabytes gigabytes or just click it on automatic automatics um, about the right one and number alignment um, you've got three different ones left center and right just with that it just aligns the numbers obviously right is all aligned to the right and left and center etc and next here we've got um, the page view it comes as non tab by default but you can set it for tabbed if you want to when you apply that it only affects one of the pages which is the main page here so instead of it all going right the way down to the bottom you have it on different different tabs myself I don't like it like that at all I think it's much better having it non-tabbed and this one's quite useful here the placement of the user menu now we've got some extra tabs up here we've got stats and apps I think it's good to move the user tab to have it within the settings so to do that just basically select here and click settings menu and then click apply now you see the user tabs available here in the settings um, listing height you can have on fixed or automatic table view spacing basically normal narrow or wide just leave it on normal display worldwide name and device ID um, you can have that as automatic or disabled you don't have to display the array totals um, you can have that as yes or no why you wouldn't want to I don't know and show array utilization indicator um, you can have that on no or yes so if we go down to like show banner, um, this here makes quite a big difference. If you don't have show banner, basically it takes the banner away from the top. And the next one is like um, the dashboard apps. Um, you can have Docker and VMs, Docker only or VMs only or nothing. So basically in your dashboard in this bit here, um, you can see I've got um, Dockers and VMs displayed. But should you want a little lesson there, you know, you can just um, have the M so or Docker only or even nothing at all. Um, the next one here, the Dynamics colour theme, you can have it as white or black. Now, myself, I really like the black theme because as you can see, my Chrome theme is dark. So I also like to have the Dynamics colour theme as dark. So if you click it onto black and it changes everything to black I think it looks a lot nicer it's a lot easier to read like this but it's personal preference to what you like next thing here is the um, used and free columns that refers to these parts here basically the options are you can have it as color or gray um, if you put it onto color I think it looks quite nice basically it just displays in color here it's nice because you can see you know it's green so you know there's plenty of space on those drives these ones being orange you know they're getting full but they're not on red yet and basically you've got your temperature either in Fahrenheit or Celsius and your page update frequency and just leave it on real time maybe an idea to click disable page updates while parity operation is running and click on apply now we can customize the top part here which is nice to do so what we'll do, we'll just put the banner back on and click apply and so this, this is our banner here, it runs right across the top so if we want to make our own banner 
just go down to the banner here and right click it and then click save image as and then here's the um, banner downloaded onto the desktop so what you can do is just open it with your favorite imaging editing software um, I'm going to use Photoshop and if we scroll back up on here So scroll back to the top, we can see the two figures in the center here. So if we make our own banner, basically what we put in this kind of area is gonna to correspond to the area along the top here. So what's quite nice to do is just actually zoom in a bit and we can match up the, the banner to where it's gonna be on the screen. So um, the size of the banner is basically 1270 by 90 pixels. So the first thing to do is just I'm going to convert this into an RGB color and just create a new layer on the top and just turn this background layer off. So now I'm going to give it a background color and I'm going to give it a black background to match what we've already got. And in this folder here I've got um, a couple of icons that I quite like. Um, this from Half-Life. Um, so I'll select that. And copy it. And I'm going to put it in here. Obviously it's way too big so we just transform the scale of that. Just get it to fit on the screen. And so you can see basically whereabouts this um, this will be. It would be around here on, on this, or if I wanted it where the where the surfers are, I'd put it there. I'm going to drop it around here. Um, go back into my folder and um, open another picture. Again from um, the old game Half Life. I don't know how many of you guys actually remember that. And so this time I'll just select all the all the white here, copy that and go to the banner and again paste this in. Again it's far too big so just adjust the size on that. And so it looks about the right size. And um, there we have a little logo, um, just looks a bit different makes the server your own. So I'll scroll this up a bit. And so now if we line up the banner we can see roughly where it's going to be if we wanted it um, just down to one side so next to the Lime Tech logo we would move this here. You know basically have it wherever you like. So anyway just you know finish editing what you like and put it put it in and save it. Um, has to be saved as a PNG, so make sure you save it as a PNG file. And so then what you do to change the icon, now you've created your own one. So here's one I've, I've just quickly made up. And just literally just drag that and put it on the top there. And you can see there's the icon. And click on apply. And now you can see there's the icon at the top. So it matches the black theme quite nicely. And... There we have it, we've customised our Unraid server. And here's another custom logo, this time on a white background. Um, I'll just quickly show you another way how you can line up everything if you don't use Photoshop on the Mac and so you can't drag around the bars easily. Um, what we'll do, we'll just put back on the, the plain banner. So when we've got the plain banner, you can see roughly where everything is. Um, you can see the surface here above the VMs and the apps tab. So basically what we can do is to have the banner open in Photoshop. And we know here is where the VM and apps tabs are. So what you can do is basically bring your layer up to the top above all your other layers. Um, and now I'm gonna turn this layer off 
But if I have my black background on and back with our black Mesa logo, if I want to see roughly where this is going to be, all I need to do is, is to turn this layer on and just put down the opacity of the layer so I can see behind. And so now I know that here is going to be where the the apps and VM tab is and I can just move things around basing it on this other logo knowing where everything goes. Anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed the video and you find this um, useful. Um, if you did enjoy the video I'd really appreciate you giving it a like and if you want to see more videos from me in the future then why not subscribe to the channel. Anyway guys whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.